we take a look at the tail of the tape for this one. Josh Berkman, 33 years of age, 5'10", weighed in just under 170 pounds. His reach 72 inches, equal that of Steve Carl. Carl's 28 years of age, six feet tall, and the exact same weight as Berkman. The rules of the World Series of Fighting, it's a 10-point must system. Three judges score the fight. It's based on effective striking, grappling, aggression, and cage control. No kicks or knees to the head of a grounded opponent here, the World Series of Fighting. So we are set to go. The arena is full, and we are ready to crown a champion at World Ooh. Series of Fighting Six. We now turn it over to Jazz Securo for the official introductions. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the next level of mixed martial arts today. The World Series of Fighting is ready to crown a welterweight champion. And now, ladies and gentlemen, live from the Bank United Center in Coral Gables, Florida, are you ready? It's about to go down for everybody in the building and those watching live on NBCSN. Somebody make some noise! Your main event is sanctioned by the Florida State Boxing Commission. And now, introducing, fighting out of the blue corner. His record sits 20 wins and three defeats, 17 by finish, and he's currently riding a six fight win streak. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 169 and three quarter pounds, fighting out of Belle Plaine, Iowa, ladies and gentlemen, Steve. And now, ladies and gentlemen, his opponent for the welterweight championship. He fights out of the red corner. His record, 26 wins, 9 defeats. He is currently riding a 5-fight win streak. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall and weighed in at 169 and 3 quarter pounds. He fights out of Salt Lake City, Utah, presenting Josh, the People's Warrior. Your referee for the main event, Mr. Troy Waugh. What? Well, here we go, Boss Rutten. The welterweight title is on the line. Oof. Okay, is it going to go five rounds or not? Tell me. Say it now. I would be very surprised to see this go five rounds. <laughs> me too. Me too. But at the end of the night, one of these gentlemen will be the first World Series of Fighting welterweight champion. Judge, are you ready? Judge, are you ready? Judge, are you ready? Fight, are you ready? Fight, are you ready? Uh, Fight! No, Amazing no, right how now. calm both these guys are. <laughs> not right now. Give me five seconds. With so much on the line, here we go. Berkman in the white trunks. Carl in the black trunks. Oof. You got the tension. Boss, who is it more imperative on to get a fast start, Berkman or Carl? You know, both these guys are in tremendous shape. So uh, I, I think both these guys can go the full distance. But who connects first? Who, who yeah. you know, imposes his will the first most of the time? That's the guy. Wow. That's a hard kick. Berkman is impressive how he can change his stance. He's waiting for that left kick to the body, I think. Oh. Started with the kick, Carl caught it. Into the clinch they go. Workman lifting him up. As you said before, this guy is a super athlete. Yeah. Can do anything he wants. Just chose fighting. But I'll tell you, Steve Carl, one of the strongest guys in this division. Yep. And also great on his feet. Yep. You know, and, and, and that together combined with his uh, incredible ground game. Let's see if that could be a trouble. And now he's going to be on top, Charles. Got to watch out with that leg there. There you go. Use the cage, Steve. Not, there you go. Oh, get back up. 
Well, both these guys are such decorated fighters, both of them former UFC fighters. Carl spent some time with the Bellator organization before signing with the World Series of Fighting back in 2012. Look, he made before a guillotine. He loves that choke. And he's very good at it. Does it worry you that Carl comes in at the pace he's coming in, where his hands are? I don't know. Not right now. He's got the, the you would think the reach advantage. He doesn't. Yeah. He's a little taller, and it yeah. gives you the illusion. But they have the exact same reach, 72 inches. So. But then again, because he's taller, he does have a little more reach. <laughs> because he can use his length as well. Great defense coming from Josh Burke. Went up against the cage. Yeah, you better believe that he trains for this, because he knows he cannot go to the ground. And look how he reversed that. Beautifully done. He's got to keep his right leg pushed forward so uh, Carl can't get that butterfly out. And if Carl goes a little lower with that butterfly, he's got to watch out for a reversal. Oh, there you go. This is uh, smart from Carl because he, he completed the, the submission game. You know, and if he goes for a high guard and a, and a bear hug, a simple bear hug, you right away terminate all the striking. First Power round striking. of this one scheduled for five with the welterweight belt on the line. Very nice way here. You see what Berkman is doing. Okay, I will uh, tell you when it happens again. It's kind of a cool way to let somebody ungrip your wrist. Use it a lot. And back to full guard. It's very, it's very smart, methodical play. You know, people don't have to realize also this is round one of five. One minute to go here in round number one. He was skipping his hips there out, out there. So he's got to maybe searching for something, like an arm bar or something. Talking about Steve Carl on the ground. Here we go again, see? Go for a leg lock, toe hold here. Oh, look at this. Yeah, but he does it the wrong way. He's got to go the other way. He's got to reverse. Steve Carl has the, the correct way. Make him pay for that. that was an in inverted toe hold, I guess you'd call it. You need way more power to pull that one off. Steve Carl, Steve Carl should have wrapped his legs tight because Bergman had one around Bergman's body, keep him tight, and then uh, finish the toe hold. Final 10 seconds of round number one. This one's scheduled for five. Josh Berkman and Steve Carl, and we will go to a second round when we return to Coral Gables, Florida, and Bank United Center. Back in Coral Gables, nervous times for Brandy Lynn Berkman and legend Berkman watching his dad do work, hoping that they return Buddy to Salt ready. Lake City Buddy with ready. a brand new shiny belt. As we get ready for round number three, Steve Carl in the black trunks, Josh Berkman in the white trunks. Two rounds complete so far, Boss Rutten put you on the spot. Yeah. Who do you think has control of this one? I, I, I think, you know, it could be one on one. It's uh, very close. Yeah. It's very close. Second round was Steve Carl, though. Both guys are slowing down. I expect, like, second win kicking in in a little bit. Maybe even in the fourth. Boss, I know you always prepare for a five-round war, but in, in those guys' minds, do you think they came into this thing thinking, I'm going to go five? I know what they tell you on TV and in the interviews that I'm going to end it fast and I'm going to psychologically put them down, but do you think in their minds they're thinking this thing could be an all-out 25-minute war? You know, you should always, always count it's going to be a 25-minute war. What I used to do, and that is just for three rounds, I would, I would prepare seven, six-minute rounds. So what you're saying is don't count on pulling a Marlon Moraes and getting it done in 32 seconds? No, that's in a title fight. You know, and Moraes is just, and also lighter weights. I'm, I'm saying this again, I'm, uh, you know, they have the same lung capacity, same heart as us, only they're much, much lighter, so they can go faster. They have more energy. Man, he's got it back on the ground. Side and control for Steve Carl now. 
Steve Carl doing a great job noticing that uh, Berkman is tired, puts his knee on his yeah. belly, now goes to a full mount. This is not good. Oh, Berkman, there was a little tiny moment he could have tried to go for an escape. Can't do it now anymore. He needs to push the hips, put at least one half guard, and from there work to the full guard. He cannot have him in the mount. I mean, Steve Carls is too powerful of a fighter to let him have this position for too you, you, long. Yeah, you can. He's going to go for an armbar now. See, he's setting it up. He's going to set up some, some punches. Bergman feels it coming, turns the other way. Does he give up the back in the sense of, I've got to fight something off? Uh-oh, uh -oh. uh-oh. This could be a problem. It's in deep. He can grab the wrist from Bergman and pull his right shoulder back, and that's it. Steve this Carls got it. a choke in. He's really good with this. Steve Carl should pull his right shoulder backwards, put a monkey grip over his own shoulder, and then pull the right shoulder backwards. I actually finished a guy like that in Japan with it. I always mention this because then you know it really works. Bergman is still good. One artery still floating. Wow. floating in. Whoa, nice. He's going to go probably for the dance again. Uh, no, Bergman knows that too. Wow. That was some impressive defense by Josh Bergman. Wow. Scary. Now Bergman going this. for it. Moments ago, Carl had the mount on Berkman and he also took the back. And it looked like he had the rear naked choke in deep enough. And here's Josh Berkman now trying to apply the guillotine. Oh, he's going to do a pull your necktie, maybe. He's going to throw his uh, left leg over to it. Oh. He's got a crank. He's got a crank. He's got an underhook now. This could be oh, it. This is tight. He's got his legs. He should buck up now. He should arch backwards, Bergman. Oh, he doesn't have his hands gripped, I see no. now. The other one is free. He should lock his hands. And, and Carl's still... got hold of that wrist. Yeah, that's that's a strong grip that he has there. You know, it's a monkey grip, and then you pull your elbow down. It's very hard to break that. Bergman has to watch out with the arm around the neck because he can be reversed. If uh, Carl now locks up with his left foot, the right foot of Bergman, and traps the right arm of Bergman, he can push him to the left. So Bergman now with the mount, with 50 seconds to go in round three of five. He should go to a high mount. Wow, look at that. Always go for high mount. And Carl comes right back, drops his head, and he finds himself Into in trouble again. again. Bergman scrambles out, and now he's looking for it again. Yeah, Carl felt it coming. He rolled on his back. He knows the submission. It's very smart. Looking for an arm choke now, an arm triangle. He's got to jump over to the other side, but he's got only 15 seconds. Two legs, jump over to the other side. Not anymore. So we will see a fourth round when we return to Coral Gables. And there you see the significant strike. Steve Carl, 20, Josh Berkman, Everybody ready? 7. Everybody ready? Fourth round of five with the welterweight belt on the line at the World Series of Fighting. Both guys are slowing down. You know, that Carl last round was a tough though. one to score, boss, yep. because I think early on Steve Carl certainly had the edge, but I think the latter half of it, Josh Portman might have stolen it. I think so, too. I think so, too. But now here, right from the bat, Carl takes it down. He knows he's the best game player. Put him on his back. And go for submissions. Play the game you're good at. There we go. Oh, he missed it. I thought he was going for a broom here necktie also. Uh-oh, triangle choke attempt. He's better pull out now. Both these guys are just fishing for arm bars. Triangle chokes. Guillotines. And especially Carl, you know, with his jiu-jitsu game yeah. is so top-notch. 
I mean, he's got pretty Fifth good. Submissions. Is it in That's there? it. In there. Is that it? Yeah, That's that it. That is it. Oh. Whoa, 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 whoa. You know, I was just looking on my paper to see how many submission victories he had. 15. This makes it 16. And I just didn't see it slip in. Steve Carl gets the win in Coral Gables and will leave the cage with a welterweight title. The tap came, but the official wanted, Troy Wall wanted to make sure that it was legit. He sets it up here, yep, passes it, puts it back. And now he pulls the head in, which is smart, so he can't pass the leg. He's gonna throw his right leg upwards and hook it behind the foot. And Bergman knows this at this moment. There it is, the slip, and he can't pull it out. Right here. It was here. a very nice thing here, what he did, Steve Carl, he kept up pulling the arm. And because he kept pulling the arm, Josh couldn't pull out. You see him tapping now? Right there. Yeah, He's with here. his left hand, he was going tap, 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 tap. It's really tight, it's over. Wow! Bank United Center saw an exciting fight as we sent it inside the cage. Jazz Securo has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight ends with a tap out and a triangle choke at one minute and two seconds of round number four. Your winner and new World Series of Fighting Welterweight World Champion.